Hello students, welcome to Sorosa classes. Today our topic is double integration and here uh, we have to solve some questions with the help of double integration. So at first let me tell you what is double integration. Double integration is actually when we use integration twice in a sum then it is called double integration. So here is our first question and the question is integration 0 to 1 dx of integration 0 to x e to the power y by x dy. So here we can see that we have to uh, use the application of integration twice here. So uh, this type of sums are called uh, use of double integration. Now at first we will uh, integrate this part and then we will integrate the result that will come with respect to dx and the limits 1 and 0. So now let us start. Okay. So from this we can uh, write okay, integration 0 to 1 of x. Okay. of x e to the power y by x and the limit x and 0 dx. So, with respect to dy after integrating this part uh, we got x e to the power y by x and here the limits x and 0 and then we will uh, write the dx here. Now, we will put the value of x and 0 that is instead of y we will put x and 0. So, integration 0 to 1 x e minus x dx. Now, uh, simplifying this we can write after integrating this part with respect to dx and with the limits 0 and 1 we can write it as e minus 1 and mod x square by 2 and putting the limits 1 and 0. Now from this we can write e minus 1 and divided by 2 because uh, we have already put the value of x as 1 and 0 and then we have got this. So the answer is e minus that this whole part is equals to e minus 1 divided by 2 and this is the answer. Okay, now let us proceed to the next question. Here is our next question. Again, in this question, we will do the integration of this part at first, and then we will do the integration of the result that will come out uh, after integrating this part with respect to dy and limit 0 and a. So, now let us start. Okay, that is equals to we can write integration 0 to a and then uh, we are integrating this part with respect to dx. So, from this we can write um, x root over a square minus y square minus x square divided by 2 plus a square minus y square divided by 2 and this into ok I will write the rest part here sin to the power minus 1 x by root over 
a square minus y square and then the limit will be here 0 and here the limit will be a square minus y square dy now from this part uh, we have done this one because uh, integration of root over a square minus x square dx is equals to x root over a square minus x square divided by 2 plus a square by 2 sin minus 1 x by a. Now, uh, okay, so from that part we can write integration of 0 to a a square minus y square divided by 2 into sine minus 1 1 dy now from this part we can write pi by 4 integration 0 to a into a square minus y square dy now from this again we can write pi by 4 into a square y minus y cube by 3 and we will put the limits a and 0 here so from this we can write that is equals to pi by 4 into a cube so we are uh, putting the value of y as a and 0 so a square into a that is uh, the value of y so a cube minus a cube by 3 that is a to 0 so from this we can write pi a cube by 6 so this is the answer